peace. Peace for our body, peace for our minds, peace for our souls, peace for the world. So thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for taking the time to pause and grieve, to connect with yourself, to connect with each other, to feel timeless and vast and free. So um, today's uh, motto that I say often is do the best you can with what you have. So it's just simply about showing up and, and doing the best you have that day and having compassion for yourself to, that that's enough. And that is enough, and because um, that's all you can do. Good morning, Mama Terry. Good morning, you beautiful soul. <laughs> so um, we are going to do um, just a simple little um, yoga flow, and um, we're just going to do the best we can with what we have. I don't have a yoga mat. I'm on my daughter's back porch, and. Uh, that's just the way it's going to be. <laughs> uh, finally caught me before I ran away. <laughs> and hopefully Blinky Bill, I was wondering where you were with Blinky Bill. It's like, where's Blinky Bill? Um, hopefully I could be on here a little longer than, um, than normal. I wanted to be by a river, but I forgot to tell my daughter before I went to bed last night. So I thought she might get scared if she wakes up and I was gone. I disappeared on her. So maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. Hey, Mark. Good morning, you beautiful soul. You guys want to practice a little yoga? Yeah, good thing I woke you up. Did you broadcast this morning, Mama Terry? Good morning, sweet Bimby. Good morning. Good morning, you beautiful soul. All right. Yes, beautiful. Oh, I hope I didn't interrupt it. Did I interrupt it? I'm sorry, my, my tea. I, uh, I just usually do my thing and didn't look. Like to help others. Good morning. Like to be. Good morning, Chris. Thank you, beautiful soul, for being here with me. Notifications are delayed by seven to ten minutes. When I get there, you're gone. Oh, wow. Okay, it was over. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Um, wow, that's, um, that's a big delay. Today, I have to say that normally, um, yeah, I feel like it's seven to ten minutes before I get uh, a lot of people on, but a lot of you came in early, so, uh, um, that's good. That's good. Um, let's, uh, let's do some yoga. Um, I think we're just going to do a simple yoga sequence. I want, want to do some on the floor, but I'm not sure I'll split. I think I might slip and I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to hurt myself. Maybe we could do it. Should we try to do a little bit more? We get Twitter and Twitch notifications when you go live. Yeah, I get Twitter notifications also when I go live. And that's I get them on myself. I don't know how that works. <laughs> don't take a chance, it's Bindi. Okay. We, um, we're just going to do a, um, our simple little seated sequence then that we've been doing. Good morning, sweet Tina. Good morning, you beautiful soul. I've missed you guys. Mama Terry's following you in and out. If you blink, you miss out. <laughs> Good morning. All right. Let's get in our comfortable seated position. Let's feel the support of the earth beneath us. Good morning, John Barr. Good morning, beautiful soul. Let's sit up tall. Breathe in deeply and exhale slowly. We'll take a few nice, long, slow, deep breaths in. Nice, long, slow exhalations out. Breathing in and out through the nose. Directing the breath again back across the back of the throat. That Ujjayi breath, that unspoken mantra, helping to ground you in the present moment. Helping to deepen the breath. Helping to get more oxygen into your body. Nice long deep breaths in. And nice long exhalations out. Breathing in and out through the nose. Good 
Can you mix inhale, inhale, arms up deeper than? And exhale, hands down to your heart center. Inhaling, arms up, deep breath in. And exhale, hands down to your heart center. One more time. Inhaling, arms up, deep breath in. And exhale, hands down to your heart center. Pausing here, breathing here, holding here. Feeling your connection to your body, to your breath, to life itself. I want you to say this mantra with me. I am happy. I am healthy. I am whole. I am love. I am light. I flow through life with ease and grace. I want you to sense it and feel it and believe it. And again, I am happy. I am healthy. I am whole. I am love. I am light. I flow through life with ease and grace. And let's say it one more time. I am happy. I am healthy. I am whole. I am love. I am light. I flow through life with ease and grace. Inhale, arms up. I am unlimited. Exhale, the right arm down. Lean to the right. Take a nice long deep stretch. And then inhale up again into the left hand. Bring your right arm up and over again. Nice long deep stretch. And just move side to side, breathing and deeply. Exhaling slowly. Feeling your connection to your body, your connection to your breath, your connection to life. Moving to your own rhythm. Taking two more breaths. Taking one more breath. Inhale back to center. Taking a grounding breath. Lean in deeper than. Long exhalation out. And then inhaling arms up deeper than. Exhale, twist to the right. Look over the right shoulder as you lower the arms down and pause. And then just Inhale, lengthen a little bit more through this crown of your head and just, just a little bit more to the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Take one more breath here. And release back to center. Taking a grounding breath again, deep breath in. Long exhalation out. And inhale, arms up again, deep breath in. Exhale, twist to the left, look at the left shoulder, pausing. Breathing, holding. Lengthening up the crown of the breath as you inhale and exhale, twisting just a little bit more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Take one more breath here. And then release back to center again. Deep breath in. Long exhalation out. And then place your hands on your knees and breathe in deeply. As you lean forward, lifting the chin, arching the back. And then exhale as you tuck the chin around the back, navel the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, look up and lift an arch. Exhale, tip back and roll. Inhale, look up and lift an arch. Exhale, tip back and roll. Inhale, up and center. Deep breath in. And then exhale as you tuck the chin around the back. Name is fine, chin to chest. One more time. Inhale, look up and lift an arch. Exhale, tip back and round. Inhale, up to center. Deep breath in. Exhale as you forward fold over your legs. Softening, releasing, letting go. Just be, just be, just be. Taking two more breaths here. And then slowly and mindfully walk your hands to center, hands to the lap. Eyes 
closed. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let everything go. Once again, noticing your energy, noticing that you're calmer, more grounded, more still. And I want you to use your mind and imagination that you are unlimited as you compress all the energy around you together, the energy of nature, the energy of every living thing, and just compress it into one big bright shining ball of light that shines as brightly as the sun. And I want you to feel this light slowly moving down into the top of your head. And as it does, I want you to see it relaxing the forehead, the eyes, the nose, the cheeks, the jaw, the mouth, the loose of the tongue. And I want you to feel this warm and healing light as it moves down, slowly moves down your neck and down into your shoulders and down into your arms and all the way down into your fingertips. Let there be peace as this warm and healing light warms and soothes as it moves down into the chest and abdomen, down the spine, warming and healing and nourishing, moving down your whole body, moving down into the hips, the thighs, the knees, the shins, the ankles, and the feet, feeling the entire body as both strong and soft, aware of the strength and the peace. And once again, and exhale, let it all go. And just, just be, just be, just be, just be. Pause here in the silence and the stillness. Allowing everything to be just as it is.
It's time to come back. Back to the warehouse. Back to the awareness of where you are. Back to the rise and fall of your breath. As you breathe nice and slow. back to awareness of how easy it is to be in your body in this moment. Body is soft and calm. You feel the energy within you and all around you. You feel your connection to all. Bring your hands together at your heart center. And pause here in gratitude. Grateful for this moment in time. Grateful for the peace, for the love, for the good energy and good vibrations. And may all of us around the world be happy and healthy and whole. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste. Abundant, abundant blessings to each and every one of you. Peace, love, the blog of Thank you for taking the time to pause and breathe and to feel this uh, connection to uh, yourself, your connection to each other, to start the day or end your day or pause in the middle of the day this way and um, just taking the time for you. Hey, sweet Dina, Dina, Dina. Hey, Heavenly D. Hey, Darby Jones. You love all the bird sounds. Yay. Hey, Pamela Jean. Let's go through comments. Thank you, Miss Tina Thorne, for being an active sponsor. Good morning, beautiful. Let's see if I can get 
Darby Jones, Tina, Dina, Heavenly Dewey, some butterfly, birds, good thing we finished our meditation, talking sounds, Mama T, Mark Prince, all shouting out. Nice painting, you, you creative thing, you. Oh, I have to check out Darby's, uh, Darby's Instagram. Sounds like she's been painting again. That's pretty awesome. Morning, Heavenly Dew. Hey, Darby. Good morning. I love that you all say good morning to each other. That's so awesome. Hey, Big Juice. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here, John and Wendy, Karen, Tina, Ian, I, Tina, we thank you. Like I'm, oh, good morning, good morning. I feel like I'm missing some messages. They disappeared now, they're coming back. Sim Butterfly, thank you so much for the Lama's Day Award. Thank you, thank you. You know, I love that award. Lama's Day, I don't know why, because it's cute and it's a Variation of Namaste. Good morning. Thank you, thank you. Um, so, I think I'm going to pick up the phone because this is kind of an uncomfortable position to be in. <laughs> a long forward fold. It's a nice way to start your day greeting your friends. It makes you feel good. It does. Hey, Maxi Man, the Maxi Man can. Good morning from Texas. I'm watching from YouTube. Thank you for watching on YouTube. I need to get more subscribers so that I can broadcast this live on YouTube. Blaine has a whole llama dance and llama call with that award. Oh, he loves it too. What is it about that award that makes you just feel good? Sending you hearts, Mama Terry from Zen Butterfly. is a nice way to start your day or end your day, right? Or pause in the middle of your day. Yogi T says, know that you are a child of the universe. Know that you are a child of the universe. Let's see if I can put this here. Ah. That works. Let me go to a different post. I'm propping you up on the porch. I may get a chair now. You're Karen. Max was your mini schnauzer. Oh, hey, Karen. Thank you for being here with us. Perfect. Now I can chill out. Now I just need some coffee or tea or, or something like that, right? Hey, Tim David. Long time no see. Hello from New York. Hey, Tim. You know I've been following you a long time, and I'm a big fan of yours. But I just, um, I think it was last week or maybe the week before you posted um, one of your skating videos, just a flashback of um, your skating. And um, it was so beautiful. It was so nice to see. I knew that was a part of you, but I just had never seen you skate. 
So I thought that was super cool. I'm glad you did that. Evelyn Dew says you've been missed, Tim David. So, having tea and breakfast hubby made for me. Oh, that's so awesome, Mama T. I am going to make breakfast for my kiddos here in a minute, but um, they are playing on sleep. And my daughter's been working 13 hour shifts for, um, I think, three weeks now, seven days a week. Some days a week, 13 hour shifts. So, but I think tomorrow she has off for her first time. And I think she has two days off in a row, which is why I'm here. So I can capture those two days. Hope you have a lovely day. Chris, thank you so much for being here. For, uh, and thank you once again for all your support on my yoga um, warrior project. Uh, I am so completely grateful. And I'm sorry that. Sometimes I don't, unless you write in, I don't remember that you're here because I've got a lot going on. So to shout out to you, because I can't see the little bubbles anymore at the bottom of the screen to know who's with me still live. So thank you for being here with me always. Thank you for being a part of this community. Everyone shout out to Chris because um, loving doctor is, um, um, is a beautiful soul and a a supporter and just someone I guess who watches quietly so thank you thank you uh, Chris for being here and I hope you have a beautiful day um, and uh, thank you for pausing and breathing thank you thank you thank you for the mm -hmm. super heart award uh, Pamela Jean thank you Tim David for the appreciation award thank you we're going to keep showing up and doing the best we can with what we have right today. Oh, I like that. I just noticed that you can see the reflection in the windows of the trees that are in front of me. That's pretty cool. It's like a really pretty colors with her, my daughter's yellow house and red trim and greenery. I like it. Hey, Anne-Marie Traeger, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for the high five award. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, Terry Stewart, thank you for the Super Heart Award. Um, you are my super heart. I have to think of something special for you. Do. On the retreats front, I um, haven't heard back from either one, but I'm trying. I'm trying patient to be patient <laughs> and wait so that I can put it on, but I have reached out to them and waiting, um, I think, with... Um, uh, COVID places, uh, retreat centers have been shut, locked down, and they, I think they're gearing to open back up, but they haven't yet, and so they're on a limited staff, and limited things are going on, so makes it a little hard to plan. I inspire you to be grounded and present. Thank you, Tim David. Thank you. Uh, that is my purpose and my mission and what I'm trying to do, so I'm glad that that you um, are inspired by that. Um, I imagine with um, figure skating, you have to do that. You have to get yourself in the present moment to do your best um, to be one with the ice, right? One with the ice. Uh, you received your special something yesterday. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope they arrived safe and sound. They were, um, uh, some special ones that I found that I wanted to send to you. Do you hear cardinals and morning doves? Yes. I've been hearing the cardinals a lot in the morning doves. I don't see them right now, but I hear them. So there's lots of trees in front of me, as you can see by the reflection. Yes. Oh, good. I was worried about that. I was worried that they would break. I didn't want to send them if they would. So those were from the beach in uh, Boca. Those were from the beach in Boca. I had, because uh, I have, as you probably do, so many shells, and I wanted to. Um, I had a few that I picked up that I thought were so special. I wanted, just wanted to keep, and those are the ones I sent you. So cool, cool. Yay! Awesome. 
Um, what else? What else we got going? I still have a shell shells you sent me. Yay, Tina. I was thinking of you as I was sending these shells that um, of when you got yours, they still have sand in them and that you got you <laughs> got the extra sand. So I'm sure these shells still had sand in them as well. Maybe they got a little extra sand. <laughs> yeah, beach sand. Beach sand. I'm always, uh, everything's filled with sand. My car. My clothes, my hair. Okay, who's going to IHOP with Dawn and I after the broadcast? I am, Dan. I know, you know I'm going, Dan. You and I are going. Who's going to join us? Who's going to join us at IHOP? Dan. I'm going to see Dan on my peace tour. And we're going to meet up at the IHOP. That's what I'm thinking. We'll do a quick broadcast from there. Breakfast at the IHOP. Good morning. Food, I'm going, says Tina. She's there. I can, Pamela Jean. Uh, send me your uh, Twitter message me, um, but it won't be till I get back home, so it'll be a couple weeks. But Twitter message, message me your address, and I will send you some. I have to find more because all my shells are packed up except for those few that I found, and I just sent them off. So I sent them off with um, my books. Picks and I hop or it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm, that's super awesome. You're welcome. Yeah, I sent them um, uh, people who um, contributed uh, money to my Yoga Warrior project. I contributed, uh, I sent them an autographed book with the little surprise seashells and uh, and then they're going to get a free virtual um, retreat in January or they can take that um, $100 off for uh, for um, the retreat whatever they decide you prefer beans are us <laughs> You have an empty glass of bowls and jars waiting for more shells. All right. I still remember the great breakfast in Carlsbad. I know. I almost want to do the retreat there. If I don't hear back from, I'm going to give them, since I'm traveling and not settled, if I don't hear back from them soon, I'm going to have to start looking for different places. I may have to go back to Carlsbad. I loved it there. I thought that was pretty awesome. So, I just kind of, I wanted to um, reached out to um, a retreat center in um, on the Blue Ridge in the Blue Ridge Mountains because that's where my journey began, and I thought that that would be appropriate to end my peace tour there. Your your breakfast memory was a Hollywood meetup. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Our Hollywood meetup on Hollywood Beach. Oh, super cool. Um, Mama Terry was there. Papa was there. John Barr was there. Mark was there. Um, we, uh, I do have a bit of bad news um, for my peace tour. Is uh, besides not the retreat center is not responding, <laughs> but um, I don't think my husband's car is going to be finished in time. That was part of the mission of this trip. Besides bringing our stuff up, um, um, almost, you know, bringing all our, the rest of our stuff up um, to my son's garage, that um, we were meeting with this car guy to see if he could help my husband, because my husband's still working. Yes, I don't think it's going to get done in time. The guy's, uh, uh, the guy takes a year to do each car, and he, um, he has two, he's working on one and has another car in front of him. So, mm -hmm. since I want to start a year from now, unless the other car backs out and the other guy speeds up. So, I was very disappointed because that's part of the, the plan that we wanted to do. So, maybe cross country in the Subaru. 
tote behind a pickup. <laughs> you hold this tote behind. Oh my gosh, I have a old little small uh, 2003, I think it is. Small white Mazda pickup is what I drive because I don't really go anywhere other than the beach and a few little errands. And when I travel, what you know, we we drove it up here because uh, um, because we needed it. We needed a truck. Anyway, it took. I had to fill it up three times to get up here. It only gets like 250 miles per tank. It sucks up the gas. <laughs> it's not energy conservative at all. You will have to trade in for a G wagon. That would be cool. I think those are really cool looking, but I don't think that would be very energy efficient either for gas. So, yeah, three times, three Phillips travel. Yeah. That is a lot of gas, isn't it? Normally I can stop uh, in the, our Subaru, we can drive with almost the whole way. Well, we just definitely only fill it, we fill it one time. We had to do three Phillips, and then we only we almost needed to fill up again when we got here. Isn't that crazy? Three complete tanks of gas. Well, it's about 800 miles, so yeah, yeah, we almost needed to fill up again. <laughs> it was more. I think it's probably more like 13 miles a gallon. <laughs> I don't know. Travel in, not trade in. Okay. Where are you right now? I'm in North Carolina at my daughter's house. G wagon cost under 31,000. Yeah, so I'm not going to be getting that. I'm not going to be getting that. Unless they want to sponsor me. <laughs> or someone else does. Someone else. I'll drive it if they send it to me. So, so yeah, so I was really bummed out about the car and um, frustrated. How's your daughter, the doctor, doing? Is she making breakfast for the family? No, she's still sleeping out there. She's been working 13-hour uh, days, seven days a week for three weeks. And so she has one more day, and then tomorrow she's off. She has two days off in a row. So that's pretty awesome. My Peace Tour sticker I'm making for you had the Ford Coupe on it. Maybe it will bring good luck for it to get done in time. Good. I hope so. My husband said maybe he'll start working on it, which makes me upset because I told him to start working on it before. <laughs> I keep trying to push him to get his car done because he is the type of person that, and not in a mean, wifey way, but in the trying to encourage him to get it done way because he's had this car since uh, like 1978 or something like that and um, it got to the level it's at now in 1981 and then stopped because then he started raising a family and stuff like that so the car has been at the state it's in since 1981 it was never truly finished and now everything needs to be redone again obviously 40 years later um, so I thought he would, he hasn't, because he puts everyone else first, he hasn't um, done it. And so I was hoping that for me that he would do it because I said I wanted to use it for the Peace Tour. Um, but still, we keep traveling around and helping everyone else. <laughs> so he didn't work on his car. He worked on other things. See, the car company would sponsor me, maybe Tesla. That would be awesome. So now I'm in North Carolina too. Yep, I'm in North Carolina right now. You love, you, yep, and Mama Terry lives in North Carolina, Jan. I'm gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna try to meet up with Mama Terry on Tuesday, possibly. My husband's flying back on Tuesday. Got a great flight. It's cheaper for my husband to fly than to drive that truck back. We got a round trip ticket for $115, I think. $115. Way cheaper than driving the truck one way. 
cost country an electric car? Hmm, I don't know. Yeah. Well, then I'd have to plane all the stops when it's charging. That would be an efficient use of time, wouldn't it? Okay, excuse me, a yoga studio or bookstore or veterans place. Do you have a charging station nearby? You don't? Oh, sorry. I can't stop at your place. Or, yeah, let's see. Oh, you do have a charging station. I'll make sure I'm playing the stop here. Oh, but you're 400 miles away from the last stop instead of the 250 I need. Make sure you bring a long extension cord, yeah. The Teslas are better than this, this heat peace tour. I don't get that blinky bill. Just, uh, let's see, just make sure you bring long extension core. I got it now. So then there was a guy that scoped called Cali in Florida and Tesla is easy. Did it, was it nonstop broadcast, Mark? We have one on our island at Tesla. Put a gas generator in the trunk. Never mind, because I didn't get it. That's why you're saying never mind, right? <laughs> he's, 50, he's 54 out, 54 hours straight broadcasting. My daughter, it um, just became a doctor. She's in her first year of being a doctor, so she works at the hospital. And uh, but she's a first year resident, so getting ready to move into her second year soon. Took fifty four hours and scoped the whole whole thing. Wow. My daughter is the doctor. <laughs> she's great. She's great. I told her, I said, my thumb hurts. Will you look at it? <laughs> Just being silly. Our, yeah, Mark Prince's daughter um, became a doctor at the same time my daughter became a doctor. So we have that in common. I think, I think they're both started at the same time, right? I think they graduated at the same time. Your daughter's just finishing up her first year, right, Mark? Or is she a year ahead of my daughter? I think they're the same. We'll wait and see. We'll wait for Mark to write in. Yes, the same. Yeah, same time. Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. So, um, so, it's nice. And Mark's daughter's in Gainesville, Florida. I think there are apps to help locate charging stations. Yeah, I think so. But I really wanted to ride in the coop. So we'll have to see how we can get that done. We may be able to get it drivable. It just may not look as cool as it was. <laughs> just may not look as good as we wanted it to. It's drivable now. Um, the engine that's in it, he put a 350 engine in it in 1978 or whatever it was, whatever, whenever he did it, he put up, but it was a used engine. <laughs> so it still runs. It starts, starts up right away. But, um, I think the transmission leaks, so there'll be fluid, but my husband's a mechanic, so he can edit it along the way. It's got the original 1940s, uh, suspension in it though, right now. So that was one of the updates, and there's no air condition in it, which we're going to add. But that's okay. We can do that. You're right. Maybe I'll just make sure that we can ride it anyway. It just may not look cool. There's no seatbelts in it. That's something I wanted. And the upholstery was one of the things that never got finished. And the, the sides of it, um, instead of looking like a nice upholstery, it's, I think it's like cardboard that's been painted black. <laughs> Because that's what you do when you're 19 and you finish your car. Who needs seatbelts? <laughs> yeah, so that's when he stopped working on it. When he started having kids. 
<laughs> so, yep, in the same state. But isn't that cool? He bought that car himself with his paper route money. And he started working on it before he was old enough to drive. And uh, Thank you, DJ. Let me see. Uh, Hannah Vienna. Hi, Hannah Vienna. Good morning. Charging stations are mapped up for you. Tesla Jacksonville to Houston Electric cost was $54. That is awesome. That is awesome. I ha I do have a Tesla story that I could have had a Tesla. Uh, Mark says he had a custom Trans Am, never finished interior, had no carpet or door panels. <laughs> yeah, similar. Hi, Brian. Good morning, uh, Hannah from Tina. My husband's not retired yet. He's working now. He also works 13-hour shifts. He's still working till the end of the year so that we can do things like finish his car and, and uh, build this house. Anyway, my Tesla story is I was going to a yoga class where I was taking some yoga teacher training one time. I don't remember if I was still in training or I was just attending the class, but I was attending a class of one of my teachers. And... This is Boca. This was in Boca, and um, I arrived at the yoga studio, and the yoga studio was in a hotel, like on a top floor of a hotel, and um, that's where she had her studio. And so there's a big parking lot outside, and I pulled up, and so I had my yoga mat in my arm, and some guy says, "Are you going to the yoga class?" I said, "Yes." He says. I'm running late. Will you give my wife the keys? He jumped out as he jumped out of his Tesla. He's like, will you give my wife the keys? She's in the yoga class right now. So he gave me the keys to a brand new Tesla and trusted me to go upstairs and not take the car for a joy ride, which I really wanted to do. Um, yeah, so I must have a trusting face. <laughs> But I went upstairs, and then I was really worried that I felt so responsible about uh, having the keys to this brand new Tesla, because I gave them to the, because I didn't want to go, the class was already starting, I didn't want to go in there, it was full, it was probably like 40 people in there, I didn't want to go in and say, I didn't even know the woman's name, or maybe, I don't think, I didn't know who she was, so I gave them to the person, and I said, make sure you tell them that they hear the keys to the car the husband left, and then. After the class, I went in there to the woman at the desk, and I said, did you give him the keys? And she's like, oh, no, I forgot. So then I'm chasing people around, making sure she got the keys. I was so worried about her getting the keys to her cars. <laughs> Love that someone's that trusting, but still kind of crazy, I know. Trusting spirit, because you are. People pick up on people's vibes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, DJ. Um, and soon, awesome, and I'll, I'll be there soon after Donna. Uh, let's see, planning out lunch and dinner and coffee breaks coincide with electric charging stations. Oh, that is good. So that would be easier. I just need to get a Tesla now. But then after, maybe Mark Prince knows this, he's our legal scholar in the group. Um... Or maybe there's more of you. Um, but I wondered if uh, if I did go for a test ride, ride in the in Tesla, that where someone handed me the keys, would that technically be stealing? <laughs> I know morally it would be stealing, but if someone gave you keys, would that be okay? It wasn't their intent, though, when they gave me, gave me the keys. Great to see you again, Donna. It's been a long time. I know. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for being here with us. I lacked internet. Oh, I lacked intent. Okay. I... I drive to, you would drive to Brisbane? So if I come over there and do, um, if I do an extended peace tour in Australia, in Brisbane, you would drive there? Uh, 
or do I need to come to Melbourne? Love and blessings. Thank you so much, Primo Jean. Love and blessings to you. Good day, Blink Man from DJ. All right, enough with the silly conversation, I guess. <laughs> Move into our circle of love. But let's send good juju out there that somehow this car gets finished. It may not look perfect but it may just be the best we can do with what we have. You try to reply, you hit the unsubscribe button. Oh, I guess driving around parking lot doesn't count. <laughs> Hannah says to Dina. If I scored a Tesla, yes, okay. I get yeah, operating a motor vehicle without authorization. <laughs> All right, you beautiful people of the world. I love you guys so much. Should we move into our circle of love? Blessings. Thank you, Zim Butterfly. Blessings to all of us from Pamela Jean. So. Let's see ourselves. Thank you, Darby. Let's see us all sitting here together. Imagine a bright yellow coop traveling with me, joining hands and joining hearts, breathing in peace, breathing in love, breathing in good energy and good vibrations. All pausing. Breathe in. Breathe out and take those nice, long, slow deep breaths in. And nice, long, slow exhalations out. Breathing in and out through the nose. Directing the breath across the back of the throat as the birds sing for us. Thank you for the Super Heart Award. <laughs> breathe in peace. Breathe in love. Breathe in good energy and good vibrations. It feels so good to feel this way. Oh, Hannah Vienna saw your replay of your red sky. Can't wait to see it. Oh, my Terry. I just feel the energy of this community, of all the beautiful people who are here with us watching live or replay. And let's breathe together as one. Breathing in peace, breathing in love, breathing in good energy. And know that we're sending peace and love and good energy out to everyone here with us. Receiving gratefully and giving fully. So we know that we're giving as one, but we know we're receiving from many, so allow yourself to receive. Give fully and receive gratefully. The good energy, the good vibrations. <laughs> Dan <laughs> behaved over there. <laughs> I know the good energy and good vibrations just fills you up from the inside out. This community of people that make this broadcast great just by being here with us. So let's expand our sphere of influence, our reach. Let's expand our reach. And whoever's sitting next to Dan, be careful, be nice. And just um, breathe in and breathe out as we send peace and love and good energy out to our friends, our family, our neighbors, and the people down the street that we don't even know, let's invite them into our circle. Our circle just expanded and got bigger and bigger. Linky behave. And then let's uh, join hands as we circle the world with a global hug of peace and love. A global hug of peace and love that made all of us around the world, be happy and healthy and whole. Om Shanti 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 Namaste. Abundant, abundant blessings to each and every one of you. Peace, love, live long and prosper. Mahalo. Have a great day, everyone. Dan, thanks for making us laugh. Linky Bill, thanks for keeping one eye open. <laughs> 
<laughs> as you meditate. Jane Kent, thank you so much for being here and thank you for letting me know you were here. Um, thank you for watching and your support. Thank you, Donna. Bye, y'all, says Tina. Darby Jones laughing. <laughs> I think, Blinky Bill, everyone was worried about you. Sit next to Dan. <laughs> I think Blinky Bill's saying it's not him. It's not him. That's why he's looking with one eye open. Anyway, I love you all. It's been fun. And uh, I'll see you again tomorrow, maybe from this back porch. I was going to do the river, but I'm thinking I can do the chair. We do it in the chair tomorrow. Or twist. We shall see. We shall see. Maybe I'll go to the river. Maybe I'll just stay here. All right, you beautiful people of the world. I love you. I love you. Love you. Let me see these last five comments that just came in. Blessings, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Happy day and abundant blessings. Bye, y'all. Thank you, Dan. Hi, honey. I love you. Good morning. I was just telling everyone about your car. Um, and we decided that somehow it's just going to get good enough for us to drive. And that's just going to have to be how it is. Do the best we can with what we have. Do the best we can with what we have. I don't know if you can hear me because he's working at an airport and he probably can't hear anything I'm saying. But maybe he could. All right, you people, people I world, uh, around the world, I love you. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, let it all go. Let it go, let it go, let it go. I'll see you tomorrow. Morning, morning.